Boxing fans received exciting news in early January 2024 when fight promoter Eddie Hearn announced that Francis Ngannou will take on Anthony Joshua in a heavyweight boxing match. Their showdown will occur in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on Saturday, March 9. It will last 10 rounds. Ngannou, dubbed the Predator, is a former UFC heavyweight champion who left the UFC in 2023 to pursue boxing. Ngannou never lost his UFC heavyweight belt. He lost his first boxing matchup to Tyson Fury by split decision in Riyadh last October, holding his own against the Gypsy King despite being a plus 1,100 underdog. Welcome to House of Celebs, your VIP pass to exclusive and fascinating stories about your favorite celebrities, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more interesting celebrity updates. He knocked Fury down in the third round. It was a promising start to Ngana's boxing career after rejecting an offer from the UFC that could have made him the highest-paid heavyweight in the promotion's history. Now, the 37-year-old Cameroonian returns to Riyadh to build on his debut and prove he belongs. That won't be easy against Joshua, a two-time world heavyweight champion two inches taller than Ngannou. The 34-year-old British star is coming off three straight wins, most recently taking down Otto Wallen by TKO in five rounds on December. 23. Of Joshua's 27 career victories, 24 have come by knockout. He's only lost three fights. Who is favored in Joshua vs Ngannou? Ngannou opened as a considerable underdog with plus 470 odds at FanDuel Sportsbook while Joshua opened a minus 550 favorite. Betters apparently liked the value on Ngannou, as by mid-February Joshua had tightened to a minus 470 favorite, with Ngannou at plus 380. Despite the relatively lopsided odds, Ngannou has more respect from oddsmakers after his strong showing against Fury. Joshua was initially expected to face rival Deontay Wilder in March, but that matchup fell apart after Joseph Parker upset Wilder in December. Joshua is expected to promote the Ngannou fight during a news conference scheduled for January 15 in London. You can expect Joshua and Ngannou to have much RESP. Francis Ngannou will 100% e compete in mixed martial arts with the Professional Fighters League PFL, according to the promotion's founder and chairman Don Davis, despite the heavyweight's ongoing boxing venture. Ngannou signed with the PFL in May after leaving the UFC and relinquishing the latter's heavyweight title, with his PFL deal allowing him to box on the side. The Cameroonian, 37, has not yet fought in the PFL, but he did make his boxing debut in October, narrowly losing to Tyson Fury on points after knocking down the WBC champion. Ngannou will return to Riyadh, the Saudi city where he fought Fury, to box Anthony Joshua on March 8, but Davis has told The Independent that the PFL has no concerns about Ngannou's future in the MMA promotion. I'm 100% confident that Francis fights MMA for PFL, not just once, but several times, said Davis, 61, on Thursday, February 15. And I'm confident that Francis will be our long-term business partner. I believe that he will ultimately prove himself to be the greatest athlete in combat sports, the Bo Jackson, if you will, of combat sports. Davis was referencing Ghana's role as chairman of PFL Africa and Jackson's status as the only all-star athlete across two U.S. sports, baseball and American football. I think Francis has an appetite to be a champion in boxing and to remain a champion in MMA, Davis continued. That's so audacious that only someone of Francis's character can set that goal, so I think you will see him continue to do both and continue to be successful at both. Davis added that Ngana's first PFL opponent could be the winner of Renat Ferreira vs Ryan Bader, which is set to headline the PFL vs Bellator card in Riyadh on February 24. The PFL acquired Bellator in November, and the upcoming event will pit a number of the PFL's champions against several of Bellator's.